England now for a six hour endurance race like no other. Run by the 360 Motor Racing Club, the Donington Six Hour features cars in seven age classes ranging from pre-1959 right up to 2009. The racing is serious, while the atmosphere in the paddock harps back to an older era of endurance racing. The event today, the 360, is basically a six hour endurance race for cars of varying age and varying size. The main point of it is to do six hours and get to the finish. Anyone who loves endurance racing and the actual story that unfolds from endurance racing will love this event. As well as commentating, the voice of Le Mans, John Hindhoff, was at the wheel of a 1980s Porsche 924 alongside Delta Wings, Andy Merrick and colleagues from Radio Le Mans. It would mean a high-speed transition from car to commentary box between stints. Might be that the quickest time you see me move all day is when I get out of the car and have to run upstairs. Just like in triathlon, it's always in the transitions that it counts. So we've had a couple of practices and there's a bit of running to do. I don't like running. Running, as you can see, not for me really. So it, it might not be very quick, but it'll be purposeful, I think. John, did you enjoy that? I did. There's nothing better, Paul. There's absolutely nothing better. With the race underway, drivers were soon struggling due to a heavy rain shower, but nothing could dampen the enthusiasm of an eclectic mix of racers from all over the world. It's a fantastic event. We have to fly all the way from Mallorca here, and it's, uh, it's a hassle, but we are doing it very, very happily. The, the treatment, the personal treatment we get from Claire and the whole crew is great. They're mega professional. I can say that not as a pilot, but as an organizer as well. And I really congratulate them. It's a well done, great job. Keep doing it. We try to be here every time. The 360 is, is awesome. It's very friendly, uh, very helpful. Uh, it's a club racing for people who like us looking for endurance races. There is competition, but it's also at a friendly level as well. Our hope is just to finish. If we can get more than that, we'll be very happy. Standing by in the safety car was ex-England football star Luther Blissett, who was impressed by the team spirit in the paddock. Everybody seems to be in it together. If you have a problem, you can go to the next garage and they'll help you out and that sort of thing. So it's laid back. You get on the track, it gets a bit hectic and you want to win, but you know there's still that little thing where you will help each other out and it's not win at all costs yet. <laughs> That camaraderie was evident when Tango 67 encountered an unusual mechanical problem and a neighbouring team helped out with the loan of a welder. We just had something really bizarre happen. The throttle pedal has snapped. Um, clearly I have too heavy a right foot. Well, either that or I was just being too impatient. It was a shame because the car was going really well. The safety car's out at the moment, so at least we're doing it and not losing too many laps. But that's endurance racing. Sadly, an overheating engine meant an early exit for the Radio Le Mans crew. Team MEV, meanwhile, avoided such problems using four cars and four drivers in the old-fashioned relay style, dating back to when one car simply wouldn't last the distance. It makes it, in our opinion, a lot, a lot easier on the car because you're not having to, to run for six hours solid. We've got the top four drivers in the series we run, all racing. We should be uh, well in contention, I think. In the end, overall victory went to the number nine BMW of Intersport Racing, while Tango 67 did the last few laps and took the chequered flag. The Donington Six Hour may not be Le Mans, but it's endurance racing as it should be. It's been a fantastic race series. We've not been involved in this before, and the atmosphere's been really fantastic. The, the people who organise it have done a really good job. Uh, really enjoyed it. It's been one of the best days we've had at Donington here, so uh, it's a testament to the series. What this is is about people going back to the grassroots of motorsport to be able to enjoy it just for the sake of the motorsport, whether the first or last or somewhere in between. In some ways, it doesn't really matter because everybody's had the shared experience of an endurance race that they quite simply wouldn't have had without the 360 Motor Club and the six-hour race at Donington.